Welcome to 2022. And today is gonna to be the first night out in the van. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find So, this van's not even ready for a night out yet. The electrics are working, which is the main thing, and I've got, and it's insulated. So that should all be fine. There's still so much work that I have to do to this van, but I just had to spend the night in it. So we'll see how it goes. I'm thinking as well, if tonight goes well and I don't get kicked off from where I am, then you know we could go for a nice little walk tomorrow because I'm right on the coast. Actually, we might need to scrap that idea of staying here because I just literally just went out and scouted the whole area and there are no camping signs. But I might wait for the sun to go down and then we'll go find another place. I've come down to Pra Sands and okay this this isn't the most stealthy I wanted to be today but I wanted to be a lot more off the beaten track for my first night in the van but this is you know a fairly safe area so I think that considering I'm not completely stealth yet and by when I say that I haven't got a curtain that goes across here yet so any light that comes from the van you will be able to see and people will be able to see when they walk past I think this is going to be a good enough place as any but what a view As you can see, it's a bit rough today and it's a bit windy. Hopefully the wind doesn't keep me up tonight. Oh, I actually got sprayed then. I'm not sure whether this is gonna be. No, 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 no. I really don't want to ruin my camera. Let's go back to the van. So some of the pros and cons of staying here at Pra Sands. Pro is I know I can stay here overnight. There's quite a few campers around, so it should be fine. One of the cons is I've literally got no 4G. I've got no internet whatsoever. So I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I can't even watch YouTube. I suppose I'll just make some dinner and go to bed. I suppose if I'd been really on it, oh, I've got to take these wellies off. If I'd been really on it, I would have brought my laptop and then I probably could have started editing this video. That would have given me something to do. Killed a few hours as well. But I guess I'll just have to chill out for a bit. I'm at the front of the van now. So I just got off the phone to Kate and she said that I should download something off Netflix. Right, what's the tea? Yoink. If you're gonna cook anything in the van, crack a window because, you know, CO2 and all that lot. But while that's heating up, it seems like this seems like a good a time as any to talk to you about today's sponsor. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> probably say this is probably one of the only times that I've ever cooked on this vlog. I guess there'll probably be a lot more cooking involved in these videos if I'm going to be camping more. Okay, I'm pretty sure, I think it's done. All right. I'll tell you one thing though, it does actually get pretty warm in here when you're cooking.
Ah, hot. Might need to let it cool down a little bit. I'll tell you what though, there's something about when you're warm and you've got food, it just makes anywhere feel really, really homely. It's actually really cozy in here. And one of the things that I love, and this makes it a hundred times better, is the fact that you can you can hear the wind outside as well. I really forgot, I actually bought some bread to have with my soup and I've pretty much just finished it without my bread. Huh. Betty bags. Yeah, look at that. Oh, why did I get the the messiest bun I could get? I've just got to rip it open. That's better. <laughs> Done. So normally in the evening I would normally have a beer, but because I knew I was coming out and there's a chance that I might get moved on in the middle of the night and don't drink and drive, ginger beer pretty much the next best thing. Maybe. So what I was thinking is, it's always nice to go for a little walk after your dinner. So I'm just gonna drink this and then we'll, uh, we'll take a little walk around in the dark. This hat might be overkill, I do have other hats. Let's go. It's weird, I haven't shown you one of the best things about this. The lights are on a remote. I mean, oh, it's bright. I mean, just as I expected, I'm going to try and talk to you and just not shine this in my eyes. Because I'm not going to be able to see where I'm going. But just as I thought, it is pitch black. And I can't actually see anything on the camera, apart from my ugly mug. But what's the point of going camping and then just staying in the van? You've got to get out and have a look around, haven't you? So this car park does overnight camping as well. Five pounds. And what do we reckon? Do you think it would be a shame not to go on the beach? Yeah, I think it would be a shame not to go on the beach. Tide's gone out, so I'm sure it would be fine. Look at this, look at this sea foam that. It's crazy, right? There's loads of it. Right, I think that's enough night exploring for one night. Let's get back to the van. All right, well that was fun. That burnt off some of the fattening soup I ate. So, last leg now. Let's just get the bed ready. This is just in case. I've never actually pulled this bed out from inside the van before, so it should be fine. Ta da! Put your blanket over the top like that. Late. I tell you what, Kate was so paranoid I was going to be too cold in here. It's actually boiling. Now I'm going to crack the window a little bit tonight anyway, just to get some air circulating. But yeah, I think it's 20 to 8, time for bed. Well, time to get into bed and, and watch that Netflix film, I guess. All right then. Good night. I slept relatively well. Pretty much slept through the whole night. There was a hailstorm at about 2 a.m. But considering I don't have any heating in this van, I didn't actually get cold. Could have done with a few more blankets though. So it's proper windy and miserable out there today. So I think there's no point in coming all the way here, staying overnight in the car park to not at least have a walk along the beach.
There's actually quite a few people out on the beach this morning. It is 20 to 20 to 9, so yeah, quite a few people out walking their dogs. New Year's resolutions, I guess, or either that or they just love it anyway. So you know, it would have been quite nice to sort of go in the sea today, but I don't know, I'm just not, not really feeling it. It's a bit rough. I've got my surfboard, but the common rule normally is if there's not if there's no surfers out there, then the conditions probably aren't good enough to surf. And I don't want to be the only guy surfing in this weather. Hang on, I've just seen a cormorant in the water. It's right over there, you probably can't see it. It's out there, tiny little cormorant, doing, <laughs> getting his breakfast. Speaking of which, I could probably do with some breakfast. What a lovely morning for a walk along the beach. Here's that sea foam from last night. If you enjoyed this video today, this one here is where I show you how I put the van together. I'll see you soon.